Hey friends, today I am reporting from my garage. Still quarantined, the kids are fine, I am fine, no symptoms or anything like that. But we are gonna do some crock pot meals and I'm going to do like half for dinner and half for the freezer just so I can get my freezer stocked. I'm hoping to get a deep freeze soon here, so wish us luck on that. Um, I'm waiting for them to go on sale. So it might be a Black Friday thing. I don't know, do freezers go on sale for Black Friday? I feel like everyone goes for the TVs, which we don't we don't really care about the TVs. But if you do, that's fine. Anyways, um, I am doing pierogi casserole right now. I'll show you how I put that together. And then I am going to probably move on to some halushki, which is a Polish recipe. If you're like Eastern European, you've probably had it before. Essentially, it is noodles, butter, cabbage, and onions, and then it is, um, only, sorry, he is, I don't know what he's doing. Wilder, what are you doing? In there. He's in the box. Okay. Um, I'll make this quick. Um, you just season it with salt and pepper, and then you can do homemade drop noodles, or you could just do regular noodles. Homemade drop noodles are pretty easy. I just leave out the egg and... <laughs> use flax instead, uh, but you could put an egg in there. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So today is a day of essentially some tasty Polish recipes. I am not 100% Polish, but I grew up in um, a community that had a lot of Polish people in there. So I am going to make everything I grew up with. I'm excited if you are from Pennsylvania and you follow me, if you're from my hometown, I think you're gonna love these recipes and they're really easy, minimal ingredients, cheap and semi-healthy if you leave out all of the butter, right? <laughs> Wilder has his eyes on some. Here, come on, me hold you. All right. On some. No, no okay. Toddlers. Uh, on some green chili cornbread. So we're going to make that too. And it's just a day of cooking and having fun with each other. Okay, sorry about that, toddler tantrum. I, we are in the thick of it, but we're getting through it. We're okay with him expressing expressing all of his range of emotions, um, just in a healthy and productive way. Uh, that's how I like to keep yeah, my parenting. Um, here. I hear a trash truck. It's a trash truck. So I'm gonna stop getting distracted. I'm gonna get into this video. It is full of tasty food, so come along with us if you wanna see. Hey friends, it is a little on the early side, but I decided to get the crock pot ready. Um, we are gonna make some pierogi casserole. I don't know if this video is gonna contain several recipes or not, so perhaps, it depends how long this will take. Um, I've never seen a pierogi casserole in the crock pot. I like to make it a little differently. Um, I'm not gonna form the pierogies, I'm just gonna layer it like a lasagna. Um, I've seen people just get the frozen pierogies and put it in there with some sausage and such, but I can do it like that. So we have leftover mashed potatoes and that's what this is based on. And then we have some butter and cream cheese in here. We have onion, garlic, spinach, regular lasagna noodles, one toddler. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> and then we have our crock pot. We just need olive oil and perhaps some... Okay. Um, broth of some sort and then definitely some oh, salt and yes. pepper and that's pretty much it So let me show you how I layer this all together He wants to make muffins. We'll do that next. Okay All right, I'll do some cornbread muffins with green chilies and film that too I know it's random, but I really want to share these recipes with you They're so easy and delicious and so cozy for fall. So let's go Oil. Oil goes in there. Yep. Oven ready lasagna noodles breaking high up. Is it? Just throw her in there. Is this mama? It's lasagna. Just break these apart. They don't have to be perfect, or you could do the sheets. It depends on what you want to do. All right. Can you say, all right? Can you say it? All right. Oops, I go with the mirror. Spinach. Onion. More onion. And this goes in there. Butter and cream cheese mixture goes right 
on top and then the potatoes over top of it. I'm just gonna use my finger. My hands are washed, always wash your hands. Repeat the cycle. Why this help it? And we'll put some garlic in there. It's a little sticky. Why'd you put it in there? Just garlic. Can you say garlic? Put it in there. Can you say garlic? Put it in okay, there. go ahead, put it in there. Good job. Okay. Hmm. We have a special guest here. We are gonna make some muffins, cornbread muffins. This is the cornbread mix. Um, I don't know if it's Whole Foods brand, but it's one without dairy in it. And then we have some tomatillos and poblanos. We have some oat milk. We just did the whole can of pumpkin there. We did a half can of pumpkin, and then we have some oil. We're gonna put it in here. It should make 12, so we might have to double it here, but I'm excited. The oven is on at 400. I'm gonna leave it in there for like 15 minutes and we should be good to go. Okay, go ahead, let's dump it in. We'll dump this first. Careful, good, good job. Oh goodness, okay, yeah. Oops, let me help. Okay, you go throw this out and come right back. While he's doing that, I made a little potty chart for him. Yeehaw, I want potty. Look at that. Look how many stickers are on there. Woohoo! Okay, next step. Okay, mm. now we're gonna put the peppers in there. All of them. Dump it. Nice. Dad? Okay, now the milk. Put it in there. Oh, goodness. All right, put that in the sink so we can clean it. Always clean your recyclables. So it doesn't ruin the rest of them. Oil. Now we're gonna put the oil in. That's right. Dump. Put that in the sink in a nice way, in a gentle way. Good job. Now the pumpkin, you have to spoon it. Can he do it? I would not recommend using glass with toddlers, okay. but you do you. We're just gonna go for it. Ready? Go ahead. Good job. Oh, hmm. Okay, you stir it and mommy put the rest of the pumpkin in. So you could use an egg for this, but we are just using that pumpkin puree as our it's thickener. It's a pumpkin. I've never done this before. We shall see if the pumpkin works instead uh, of the flax. So we'll see. We'll let you know how it goes, right? It's a so we're gonna stir this together. We're gonna do some of the muffin pan and coconut oil. And then we will do it in batches and serve it with some sage butter. All right, Wilder has dumped these and I often get questions like, how do you cook with a toddler? Um, I take a step back and tell myself that these are only muffins. As long as he had fun doing this and we can eat these, I am okay with it. Um, so I'm just going to take some of this and kind of push it back into here and then we're gonna bake it. And he did an amazing job, didn't you, buddy? Did you do a good job? What did you dump in there? Did you make a muffin? Yeah! Yeah, so proud. Okay, the first batch is done. They are looking delicious. And we're gonna do some sage butter on the side. I'm gonna pop these little guys out, redo the coconut oil, and then put the next batch in. I know this is not cooking related, but Deli's helping me put the laundry away. It's so cute. Yeah. Can you put this in? 
Thanks, Lou. Good job. More? Hmm. Here you go. Good job, sweet pea. Della June. Della June. Can you put it in? Can you put it in the dryer? Oops. Oops. Say, uh oh. <laughs>if you want to do that it's called ham and bean soup so we are going to use no ham at all i might even do an extra can of great northern beans just for some added protein but i'm going to serve this alongside of some baked chicken for the family tonight and then i'm also going to pop in the oven a sheet pan veggie dish so i will show you how i put that together as well all right i'm going to chop the potatoes here you want like semi small potatoes uh, but you could of course use whatever kind of potato you want in here let me give you an example I have this size right here those are the best size or that is the best size for the soup in my opinion you want things pretty finely chopped and then I'm gonna rinse all of the canned items um, it's funny because I asked my dad to share his recipe for this and this was a staple with him growing up there was a lot of children in his family so his mom made really you know unique dishes with um, what they had on the shelf and I've always admired her because she was the mom um, you know to so many kids and um, we lost my grandfather well my dad did at a young age so it was just her and uh, 
she did an awesome job. I've never really highlighted that. Um, but compared to my grandmother on my mom's side, the recipes vary so, so much. And I always pull from each one. I've never, I've, I've never claimed to make up a recipe because I've always altered one from my Mimi or one from my Grammy. And I always thought that was kind of cool. So I'm hoping my kids will take on that legacy and create recipes on their own, but also keep the family tradition alive. So I said in the beginning of the video, some are Polish, some are German, some are Irish, and a mix of all of it. So you're gonna find a lot of different things on this channel. And we find really great ways to add meat to dishes. And you know, we, we're not seeing that we miss dairy that much. Um, we do add dairy to dishes for the kids and I do for my husband as well, but I don't think he would miss it terribly if I didn't use it for every single meal. So I hope these meals came at a good time for you to start cooking from your pantry and realizing that you can get creative with a lot of these ingredients and um, you know you can do it in a cost effective way. I definitely encourage you to shop the sales but I was talking to Tamara um, <laughs> when we were talking about couponing and um, while that works it's like a full-time job in itself um, so if you have the opportunity to collect those digital coupons before you hit the grocery store, then go ahead. But I mean, you could pedal through that for hours and find all the great deals. I wish I had that much time. I always say I wish there was more time in the day, but if you can't do that, there are still really great deals out there without the coupon. All right, I'm gonna get every single thing in the crock pot. I'm gonna cook it on high for four hours. We're gonna go for a little bit of a drive out here and um, then we're gonna come back and have some dinner. So I will show you how it turns out. Everything just goes right into the crock pot. I will link all these recipes down below the best that I can do. And um, again, alter it to what your family would love. Hey, I'm back. I forgot I'm doing the sheet pan meal, so I'm gonna do that quick, then we'll drive. I don't like to leave when the oven's on. Uh, I don't mind when the crock pot's on low, but I'm gonna do onion and then some beets over here. I wash and then peel my beets. Um, I find that that's the best way to do it, but you can do it however you want. I have two red beets and then a yellow beet. Is that a thing? I feel like they're called something different. Drop, please correct me in the comments. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to do some broccoli as well as some ginger dressing. I'm just coating everything in the ginger dressing. This is great to have on hand, great to have on top of rice, and it freezes if you need it to. Um, we'll probably work through it throughout the week, but I'm going to cook it at 400 for around 15 minutes and then serve it up. So we're gonna have that soup tonight. We're gonna have some of those veggies and then some brown rice. And then I'm gonna do baked barbecue chicken for the rest of the family. I've seen those faces I've heard all the lies, but you ain't gazing on someone in denial. Cause you want dollar bills right now, but you gotta work real All right, we are about to head on the drive, so I've just decided to marinate the veggies. We have broccoli and onion in here. There's nothing wrong with that broccoli. Um, it's just a different variety. And then over here we have those beets. Beets are so staining, so make sure you have a designated cutting board and or bowl. Eventually it will, um, you know, wash off, but just in case you don't want to stain things pink. You can also use beets as a dye um, and add some salt to the water. It's a really fun dye to do with kids because there's no chemicals or anything in it. Um, and you can do that with a lot of different vegetables. I'll link that video down below if you want to see. I'm going to marinate these. I'm going to finish my apple cider and water here, and then we are going to head out on our little drive. You felt your limitations and filled your mind with doubt. You want to stay chill right now and don't let your heart So 
I did my chicken the Jordan Page way. I just cooked it in a skillet with a little bit of broth and then I shredded it with my hand mixer. It shreds it really nice. I used the Memphis inspired barbecue sauce and my husband has it on these tortillas here um, and he's using just a mixed blend of cheese and some barbecue sauce. And then here is my soup. I really enjoyed the soup. My son really enjoyed the soup. It's super delicious. I sprinkled it with some parsley and some salt and then served it with some butter bread. All right, my friends, I am going to end it here. We just put the kids to bed and we just had a nice big dinner together. It was such a good time. Everything was so hearty and I'm super excited to have all of that freezer prep for the week ahead. I have a huge busy week coming up. I have the art show and I'm going to have to catch up on some of those days that I missed this week. So I'm excited to have all of those meals prepped and ready for the freezer. I hope you got some inspiration from today's video. I know it was a little different, but I love Cook With Me as it kind of takes you through a day in a life, but food related, um, mostly food. Uh, if you do have any questions on any of these recipes, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments down below or just stop by and say hi. Sorry, big oil truck coming by. <laughs> it was a big day today, as you could see, so I'm just going to take it easy tonight and catch up on some of the work I have. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative. Thank you so much for being here today, and thank you for all of this support. I did want to mention I am going to be doing a 3,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a crock pot or a cast iron skillet. It's going to be your choice and I will ship it to your house. All you have to do is like this video and comment down below what you are planning to stock up on this week when you go to the grocery store. That's it. I am looking for um, some creative ideas down there. Of course, I'm going to choose at random. Make sure you are subscribed and your bell notifications are turned on so you don't miss any updates from me. I will be announcing the winner in one week's time uh, for next week's Friday video. I really hope you enjoyed everything that you saw today. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment box down below or just say hello and I will see you on Sunday for a brand new video. Bye y'all. Thanks for being here.